Morocco. I'm from Morocco. Pakistan. Saudi Arabia. Manchester. Mexico. <laughs> Jordan. Germany. Tanzania. <laughs> it is a festival of football which has not only raised the profile of the women's game, but helped break down barriers and records on and off the pitch. But their motto of opportunity, equality, respect, nothing more, nothing less, today the equal playing field group broke the record for the most players in a continuous game. However, it's what they're doing to get women's football accepted around the world that they are most proud of. Sadja Kamal is trying to build a national women's team in Saudi Arabia. She faces continual challenges and insists one day they will be in the World Cup. A woman football Saudi Arabia, how does that work? Yeah, sounds crazy, right? Honestly, I think we're breaking the glass ceiling for a lot of Saudi women who thought they couldn't do um, soccer or football. So now they know that they have they, anything's possible, and if we could do it, they can do it. Pakistan faced similar challenges 10 years ago, especially because of the need to play in shorts. Hadra Khan is now the captain of the Pakistani women's team. More and more people in general are accepting that women can pursue sports as a career in Pakistan. Although I wouldn't say the problem is solved, we're uh, a long way to go, but I feel like uh, we're getting there slowly. As a professional player in the United States, Jasmine Henderson faced different challenges. However, her experiences led her to fight for true equality in the game. I do not want this to be a men versus women issue. Um, I want it to be something that celebrates our differences um, and really just highlights female athletes, you know, young and old, uh, from the grassroots level to the elite. And that's why men and women from 60 nations have come together in Lyon to celebrate women's sport and ensure the legacy of this World Cup lives on across the world. Emma Murphy, News at 10, Lyon.